In 1929, during the tough times of the Great Depression, a man named Charles Leeper Gregg took a chance and introduced a new soda called 7-Up. For more than 80 years, 7-Up was well known and competed with Coca-Cola and Pepsi. However, lately, its sales and popularity have declined, making us wonder what went wrong. Let's dive into the story of one of the world's most famous sodas. Charles Leeper Gregg, a Missouri native and pioneer in the soft drink industry, faced a challenging childhood marked by poverty. Born in 1868, he grew up in a time when Missouri was recovering from the aftermath of the Civil War. Despite financial struggles, Gregg was determined to succeed and started working odd jobs at a young age. Limited formal education didn't deter him, as he sought out opportunities to expand his knowledge and skills. Moving to St. Louis as an adult, Gregg entered the advertising and sales field, where he encountered the carbonated beverage business. In 1919, he created his first soda, Whistle, with orange flavoring, marking the beginning of his journey in the soft drink industry. Gregg subsequently left his job at Whistle and joined the Warner Jenkinson Company, where he focused on developing innovative flavoring ingredients for the soft drink industry. However, in the early 1920s, feeling constrained by his job, Grigg decided to pursue his ideas for the soft drink industry. He left Warner Jenkinson and founded the Howdy Company with support from entrepreneur and banker Edmund G. Ridgway. Despite facing tough competition from Orange Crush in the orange drink industry, Grigg introduced his second soft drink, Howdy. Recognizing the need for a shift in strategy, he transitioned to lemon-lime flavors after testing 11 different lemon-flavored beverage recipes over two years. In October 1929, just before the stock market crash, Grigg launched his new drink, a caramel-colored lithiated lemon-lime soda named Bib Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda. Despite higher costs and a challenging name, and competing against over 600 other lemon-lime soft drinks, 7-Up sold well. Marketed as a premium soft drink available only in bottles, it featured a winged logo and claimed to have a unique flavor wallop created by blending seven natural tastes. Recognizing the growing popularity of the 7-Up trademark, Grigg changed his company's name from Howdy Corporation to the 7-Up Company in 1936. By the 1940s, 7-Up had become one of America's favorite soft drinks, steadily growing to become a household name worldwide. While the soda's taste was familiar, its name remained a mystery. Some thought it referred to the original seven ingredients, while others believed it related to the 7-ounce serving size. Some even speculated it was inspired by the phrase, Seventh Heaven. Despite various theories, the true meaning behind the name remained unknown. In 1967, realizing it couldn't compete by imitating Coke and Pepsi, 7-Up launched the bold Uncola advertising campaign. This strategy propelled 7-Up sales across the nation, emphasizing its unique taste as a refreshing, lighter alternative to colas. Customers embraced 7-Up as a practical, thirst-quenching substitute for colas, and the Uncola tagline, paired with the outdoor, carefree settings in the campaign, successfully set 7-Up apart in the beverage industry, solidifying its status as a household name. In 1970, the 7-Up company introduced Sugar-Free 7-Up, later renamed Diet 7-Up in 1979, gaining popularity among calorie-conscious consumers. The company, which was privately owned by its founders until 1978, was then sold to Philip Morris. In 1982, the No Caffeine campaign addressed consumer concerns about caffeine and soft drinks, leading to a significant surge in 7-Up sales and prompting the industry to develop new products and address caffeine-related issues. The Like Cola campaign launched in 1983 aimed to reposition 7-Up as a cola, departing from the previously successful Uncola approach. However, this shift failed to connect with consumers and didn't boost sales as intended. Consequently, 7-Up returned to its Uncola positioning, a core aspect of the brand's identity. In 1986, Philip Morris sold the domestic operations of the 7-Up company to a private investment group for $240 million, leading to a subsequent merger with the Dr. Pepper company. Bottlers of 7-Up expressed satisfaction with the deal, citing relief from working with Philip Morris, which they believed had struggled to devise an effective advertising strategy and overlooked the crucial role of franchise bottlers in marketing. In March 1995, 7-Up became part of Cadbury Beverages North America after Cadbury Schweppes PLC acquired Dr. Pepper 7-Up Companies Incorporated. 
the brand underwent a repositioning to target a younger audience, and received a refresh with the introduction of splash package graphics for all four flavors in the fall of 1995. Despite these efforts, 7-Up's popularity started to decline as customers favored newer beverages like Sprite from the Coca-Cola company. By 1996, 7-Up's market share had slipped to 2.4%, ranking it 8th among soft drinks in terms of sales. In contrast, Sprite held the 4th position with a 5.8% market share. In 1997, the manufacturer of 7-Up reported significant changes to the soft drink recipe aiming for a better balance of lemon and lime flavors to compete with Sprite. However, this alteration did not lead to increased sales, and 7-Up continued to face challenges. By 2013, its market share had dropped to less than 1%, and sales had declined by 3%. Certainly, the introduction of Sprite by Coca-Cola in 1961 marked a significant shift for 7-Up. Within five years, Sprite became widely available across the U.S., quickly gaining popularity and siphoning market share from 7-Up. By the 1970s, Sprite had emerged as a new customer favorite, posing a major challenge for 7-Up. In 1978, the struggling 7-Up was purchased by the tobacco company Philip Morris. Despite Philip Morris's lack of experience in the soda industry, optimism prevailed, given their successful marketing of the cigarette brand Marlboro and the beer brand Miller. Many believed they could revive 7-Up. However, in hindsight, revitalizing 7-Up during that period appeared to be an extremely challenging task. Indeed, with the success of the Uncola campaign, the aim was to steer people away from colas and towards lemon-lime sodas. However, the entry of Sprite and Pepsi's introduction of Slice, featuring 10% fruit juice, meant that diverting people from colas didn't necessarily lead them to choose 7-Up. Recognizing this, the new advertising campaign shifted its focus from promoting lemon-lime to highlighting 7-Up's caffeine-free composition, a unique selling point. In 1981, they even introduced Like, a mostly caffeine-free cola. However, it faced challenges as it entered a market where Pepsi-free and caffeine-free Coca-Cola were already established, and many bottlers were loyal to those brands, making it difficult for Like and 7-Up to gain traction. Certainly, 7-Up faced considerable financial challenges under Philip Morris, worsening over the eight years of ownership. Given the vast resources, experience, relationships, and customer loyalty of Coke and Pepsi, it was a formidable task for Philip Morris to compete. The potential for 7-Up to regain significance seemed more plausible if acquired by either Coke or Pepsi. In 1986, a notable opportunity emerged as there was an agreement in place to sell 7-Up to Pepsi. A Pepsi representative expressed confidence in 7-Up, stating it was a top-quality product with the potential to become one of the most popular soft drinks globally. They even pledged to invest their full marketing efforts to boost 7-Up's market share. It appeared that a takeover by Pepsi held significant promise for the revitalization of 7-Up. Indeed, there were complex developments in the soft drink industry during that period. Although Coca-Cola had plans to acquire Dr. Pepper, the Federal Trade Commission FTC intervened, preventing the deal due to concerns about creating a monopoly. Meanwhile, Pepsi acquired the international operations of 7-Up, but nothing in its core market, the United States. In a somewhat convoluted turn of events, an investment bank from Dallas named Hicks & Haas orchestrated a deal. They initiated a leveraged buyout, purchasing Dr. Pepper for around $400 million. A few months later, they acquired 7-Up for $240 million. Two years down the line, the two companies were merged into a new entity called Dr. Pepper 7-Up with a combined valuation of $1.3 billion. Interestingly, instead of competing against each other as parts of Coke and Pepsi, Dr. Pepper and 7-Up joined forces under the new company to compete against larger rivals. This combined entity experienced success, with sales increasing each year. However, it was a peculiar scenario where Dr. Pepper was thriving while 7-Up continued to face challenges. By 1993, when Dr. Pepper 7-Up went public to alleviate part of the billion-dollar debt from leveraged buyouts, Dr. Pepper had become the fourth best-selling soda brand, while 7-Up ranked eighth. The challenge for 7-Up was intensified by the heavy promotion of cola alternatives by Coca-Cola and Pepsi. 
1995, Cadbury Schweppes acquired Dr. Pepper 7-Up for $1.7 billion, bringing together a candy company that had been gradually acquiring soft drink brands, including Crush. The acquisition showcased an interesting twist as 7-Up, a brand indirectly inspired by Cadbury Schweppes, teamed up with them. However, the focal point of the acquisition was the Dr. Pepper brand, and this marked a phase where 7-Up started to fade into the background. Notably, even in media coverage such as the New York Times reporting the deal, 7-Up was not deemed important enough to mention in the headline. 7-Up's evolution has been marked by various changes and challenges. In 2005, the brand underwent its first formula change, subtly intensifying its lemon-lime flavor. The decision to drop the iconic Uncola slogan was part of an attempt to appeal to younger customers. The Uncola campaign, once highly effective in connecting with the youth of the 1960s, had led to a perception that, by the 1990s, 7-Up was associated with an older demographic. In 2008, Cadbury Schweppes spun off its beverages into the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, forming a new entity. However, overshadowed by other brands, the trajectory continued, and a decade later, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group was acquired by Keurig for over $18 billion, leading to the formation of Keurig Dr. Pepper. Today, 7-Up is just one of many beverages owned by the company. It no longer stands out in the way it once did, experiencing a prolonged decline that may surprise those unfamiliar with its significant history. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content.